Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we're going to do a comparison of a couple different impact drivers. Over here, we have the Milwaukee Fuel 18 volt brushless impact driver. And right here we have the Bauer brand 20 volt impact driver, also quarter inch. This one's sold by Harbor Freight. Now, don't get me wrong. We love our Milwaukee tools. We have just about every tool in the lineup from 12 to 18 volt, you name it but we are genuinely curious as to how well the Harbor Freight brand does. To keep this comparison fair, both of these impacts are brand new. We also bought a three amp battery for each impact. The voltages are different. This is an 18 volt Milwaukee and the Bauer is only offered in a 20 volt, but the batteries had the exact same capacity. So this is about as close as we can get to a perfectly fair comparison. Test one, the screw test. We're gonna see how many times we can fully drive a screw into these pieces of wood and pull it all the way back out without this thing failing. As soon as the screw won't drive all the way in or won't come all the way out, the test is over. We're gonna start with the Milwaukee. Okay, so far we've done about 92 holes with the Milwaukee. The battery says it's down to about half capacity, but this thing's running pretty strong still. Let's kill this thing. Nothing. She did. Alrighty, now to test the power. Let's see how it compares. Okay, we just killed the Bauer. This one held up to 170 screws. For comparison, we got 196 with the Milwaukee. So they're pretty close. Now our test isn't perfect, it isn't ideal. Um, it's wood, it varies, there's grain. So it's pretty close, but we were able to tell that yeah, the Bauer didn't quite last as long. Even though it was a higher voltage and you'd think it'd drive it better and quicker and cleaner. Um, it wasn't the case, they're actually very close. Now the Bauer. Almost identical. So one key difference between these impacts is the type of motor used. The Bauer here uses a traditional electric motor with brushes, while the Milwaukee has a newer brushless motor you see on the back. What that means is you can expect better efficiency because of that. Another thing that you see with the traditional motors is that they get much hotter. The Bauer got so hot that we had to let it cool off. I mean, it was hot to the touch. We let it cool down a few times just to make sure that that wasn't affecting its performance and then continued with the testing. But that is typical of a standard motor versus a brushless. So out of the box, your Milwaukee is gonna come with a five amp hour battery. Like we said, we ran the three just to give it an equivalent test. That's what you'll find. A couple of the features, it comes with this clip you can put on either side, as well as a tool holder for your bits. It also has a speed control up front if you press this, it cycles through four different speeds. The last feature I wanna talk about on this Milwaukee is the one key feature. That's basically a security measure where if your tool gets stolen, you can access it from an app and lock it. That way nobody can use it. Uh, it's a really, really important feature because you see tools get stolen all the time. Now the Bauer, out of the box, you'll find it with the one and a half amp hour battery, which is much smaller. Again, we use the three amp hour battery for a perfectly even test. It also comes with this belt clip, just like the Milwaukee and a couple of starter bits. There's no speed control or security features on it. It's just an impact. What you see is what you get. At the end of the day, it makes sense why each one of these tools is priced what it is. In that initial drill test, 
They performed very similarly as far as endurance goes, but the Milwaukee definitely outshined the Bauer as far as duty cycle. Like we said earlier, we had to let off quite a few times on the Bauer to let it cool down. Regarding batteries, the nice thing about both of these tools, both of these brands, is that with one battery, you can power pretty much any tool in the lineup. Now where the batteries differ is in capacity. The Bauer comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery, and you can buy up to a three amp hour battery. The Milwaukee comes with a five amp hour battery. We put a three amp hour battery in it for the sake of testing. However, you can buy all the way up to a 12 amp hour battery from Milwaukee. Bauer, you're stuck at three amp hours. The last point of distinction we'll make between these two brands is the durability. We've used Milwaukee tools for years, every single day, all day. We can really attest to the name and the fact that each individual tool really does last for years. Bauer, this is our first time running it. So I mean, they may be very durable, we just don't know. We can't provide that information. So if you're a homeowner, you have small little projects that you're working on, I wouldn't steer you away from the Bauer. I mean, it's a pretty good value and as far as we can tell, it's a pretty good tool. But if you're using tools to make your living every single day, I would push you more towards the Milwaukee, something that you know is gonna last you a very long time. So thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, we do all sorts of projects, fun builds, tool comparisons, all sorts of stuff. Please hit subscribe and follow us on our next video. Thanks.